Yeah, well, the biggest thing is, you know, we, we see uh, the bill and we feel like it could actually make some substantial change in, in our communities, especially um, on that grassroots level. When we talk about creating opportunity and, and uh, for especially disenfranchised communities. For me personally, we grew up, it was tough. Um, we struggled, my mother worked multiple jobs, um, lower income jobs or heavy labor jobs um, in order to provide for us. And all of a sudden, uh, about, I guess like 10 years ain't all of a sudden, but 10 years later, um, and the Virginia process is a little different, um, she applied to get her rights expunged. And it was then Governor Mark Warner, who's now Senator Mark Warner uh, of Virginia, um, she got her rights back. All of a sudden, my mom's making close to six figures because over that 10 years, she goes and she's educating herself. She's trying to stay hope for us um, and trying to show us the way and, and do as I say, not as I did. And so she changed her life around and it's because of people like you um, having a voice and, and, and trying to speak up for other people, you can change their lives. Because we weren't from living, we weren't poor, but we struggled. We were right above that line. And all of a sudden, my mom was able to, per able to purchase a house two years after having her, her record expunged. So um, you guys have you had the ability to impact a lot of families. And I'm thankful that I can be here and tell you and just understand the power that you have. I know that it may not be the cleanest right now. It has some work to do. But um, the quicker it can get to the table, um, the quicker you know lives can be changed. We're here to to put support behind this Clean Slate Act and, and, and hopefully uh, get it put on the floor.